All right, it's 8.16 p.m. I've not had a sip of caffeine yet all day. So before this shoulder and arm workout, I'm gonna run to the gas station and grab an energy drink. And then I'm also going to Target to pick up the Skull Candy Crusher headphones because apparently they have the craziest base of like any headphones and they're only 120 bucks. So although you guys know I'm broke, so I DoorDash today made 100 bucks in like four hours and I'm gonna go use that to go get these headphones. So got the headphones. But that was like an entire fever dream that was so weird. I got them at Target, and I've only been to this Target once or twice in my entire life. And it was weird off the bat. Like, once I walk in, it's like the exact Target that used to be my hometown as a kid. But everything's just like slightly different. And then I get to the headphones, like ask somebody to get them down for me because they're locked up and stuff. And I, I go to the checkout. Everyone's already being really nice, like oddly nice. And then I get to the checkout, and I waited for like 20 or 30 minutes because not only was like all the people just talk, like everyone was talking so much. Like it's, I've almost felt like an asshole just like wanting them to hurry up, but I like they were taking forever. There was two people in front of me, two groups of people. And they were talking about the most random stuff about like, like some like high school girl was asking this like eight year old, no, like 15 year old boy next to her and in a whole different group, like what sports he likes and stuff. And they were just checking out. I'm like, what is going on? The checkout lady's barely even scanning stuff. She's just sitting there like, observing them it was so weird and then like next girl comes up and they start talking about the Beatles together and they're talking about how wholesome the Beatles music is because it's not talking about sex and stuff it's just talking about like holding hands and they're talking about how wholesome it is and I'm like this is a wholesome conversation but like hurry up because she's not scanning anything she's just standing there talking full conversation and she scan one item full conversation scan one item so I was like, what the hell? And then I found out this girl was like high on acid or something. The checkout lady, she was out of it. I, I like handled the headphones and I was already a little tweaked out because they were like 160 bucks here and they're 129 online. And I'm a broke guy, so I don't want that extra 30 bucks. So I asked if she, they price match and stuff, like their online price. And she's like, yeah, we do. It was just, it was like, ter it was like creepy almost. She was like definitely on something, but she's really nice, really nice lady, but I don't know. Got them. The whole experience was just so weird. Like I check out, she hands me the receipt, and she's like, "Here you go. Have a, have a good, have a good rest of your day." I'm like, "Yeah, you too. Have a good one." It was it was creepy though. It was weird. Like she was super nice, but at the same time though, just like so out of it. And it wasn't just shyness either, because like you you'd have to be there. It was so weird. Now I'm gonna put on these headphones and see how they sound right in front of you guys so you guys can see my reaction, my first genuine reaction to the bass on these headphones. All right, first impression, they're super comfortable. I haven't connected them yet, so I'm about to do that, but let's see. What song do I play? Holy. <laughs> All right, I paused it. That's shaking my ears. You know when a car has a lot of bass and like the plastic starts vibrating? That's what this is like on my ears. What the heck? There are cars like driving past me right now. I know they just think I look ridiculous sitting here wearing headphones in my car, but these things are insane. I do not regret this purchase at all. Oh my gosh. Wow. Highly, highly recommend you get these. Holy crap. Skull candy. Damn. Okay, so it's a few days later now, and I kind of just scratched all of the footage from that shoulder and arm workout because it sucked. And instead, I'm going to record this chest workout for you guys, so.